Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the Windows 11 update error 0x800704f1 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon, afterwards make sure to click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now select other troubleshooters and afterwards click on the run button next to Windows Update. Now Windows will try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Afterwards, you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to restart some services in the Services app. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in Services, and then select it as an application from the search results. And now, the first service that you have to double-click on to play with its properties is Background Intelligent Transfer Service. So double click on it and in here next to the startup type you have a drop down menu. Make sure to click on this and then select the automatic option. Now just click on the start button if the service is stopped and then click on apply and ok to save the changes. And next what you have to do is scroll down until you find the windows update service, double click on it to open up its properties window and afterwards do the same. Click on the drop down menu next to startup type, select automatic, then click on the start button to start the service in case it's not running. Then just click on apply and ok to save the changes, close this window, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line another useful solution is to repair system files. To do this press the windows button then type in cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window make sure to type in or copy paste the following commands from the description below but press enter after each command and just wait it out. These scans can take a bit of time so don't lose patience. Afterwards just close this command prompt window, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to download the update manual. To do this press the windows button then select the settings icon then in here on the left pane click on windows update and afterwards on the right side select the update history option then make sure to take note of the update that could not install on your PC. Let's say we'll just copy an example from here and afterwards make sure to head over to your default browser and access the link that I posted in the description below. This is the official Microsoft update catalog. Now in here in the search box make sure to paste the build that you copied from update history then click on search and you'll see that you'll get a few results. Make sure to download the result that corresponds with your system architecture and click on the download button and once again Again, click on the hyperlink in the new window, make sure to choose a location, preferably on your desktop, then click on save and once the update will download and after it's finished, just open it up and follow the on-screen instructions. You'll see that it's very simple. And then you can just check if the problem still persists. However, as an alternative, we highly recommend you to try out Restoro, which is an app that specializes in scanning and repairing any issues with your Windows operating system faster than you think. At the same time, Restore also repairs damage caused by malware which is a great plus in functionality. So make sure to check out the link in the description below. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course if this video helped you make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality fixes. Thanks for watching and see you next time.